Hi and welcome to another GT Mysteries video where this time we are taking a look at the senseless 2014 Atlanta murder. So a man Presley is the man that we are talking about today now he actually came to my attention due to a program that I like now a man Presley uh, was born sometime in 1980 uh, don't say specific age just that he was born in sometime in 1980 and that he's either 40 or 41 years of age now he decided to go on a killing spree now this was after he uh, tried to get into the acting profession and to be honest he wasn't that great and became a failed actor so I don't know if he thought that the world owed him a living or you know he, he just saw things he didn't like we don't know but he came to the attention of police officers first for the uh, murders of homeless people who were living in Atlanta uh, now one of the homeless people was just down on his luck uh, and as a result ended up homeless uh, you hear of it all the time it happens even here in the UK so we hear that a lot but the second man that he killed he'd actually chosen to be homeless he had a job he had a good income um, he basically just wanted to be different uh, and so he decided that he was going to be homeless um, now just in them two murders alone there were 12 bullets used Uh, the first victim yeah the first victim had five bullet wounds um, and the second one and the one that actually brought not him to the attention of the police at that time um, but brought the murders to the attention and, and linking them and you know basically saying we're not working these as separate homicides these are in some way linked right and they did that when he murdered the second homeless man now the second homeless man was the one that I was telling you about that he just decided he wanted to be different he wanted to live uh, as a homeless person um, that was basically a conscious decision made by him but he was shot seven times so 12 bullets uh, you know, 12 bullets in just two of his victims right so 
he was using a big weapon, big bullets. I believe it was a 45 caliber and it was a Taurus Raging Judge revolver uh, which he decided that he was gonna kill his victims with. A bit stupid to be honest because the bullets that he had shot these two victims with these bullets hadn't been made for years and so they were rare so when they found them bullets they knew it had to be the same person and it was uh, but it just ridiculous um, now he actually killed four people in total at least that's what he confessed to that's how many he was convicted of killing um, but this man really didn't care how many he killed he didn't care what the death toll was so to be honest I don't think it would have mattered if he had killed 10 um, he simply I would say was a little bit um, annoyed putting it politely that he hadn't succeeded in his acting career and so he chose to go back to Atlanta um, and he chose to kill his victims now one of them was a Dorian Jenkins uh, and then he shot and killed just three days later he shot and killed 62 uh, sorry 68 year old Tommy Mins and this is when the crimes became linked because that gun was rare but not only was the gun rare it was also using bullets that hadn't been in production for years uh, when these crimes took place in 2014 so that the police knew that they were looking for a rare gun with rare ammunition uh, they certainly weren't going to find it in any gun shop or you know you couldn't go in and buy this ammunition you must have already had it or you got it with the gun from whoever you bought it from um, but it ended with Tommy Mims being convicted of four murders and he got life imprisonment without parole four times Um, now the final time he saw daylight which was when he was arrested the final time was on the 11th of December 2014 but honestly it is sickening homeless people may be homeless but they are still people 
And if you believe that, you can learn more by searching Amen Presley. Thank you for watching this GC Mysteries video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you can, support us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash GC Mysteries. See us on Facebook and Twitter, GC Mysteries. And bye-bye for now.